The Principle of Authentic Partnering For global health research efforts involving research partnerships, there are often differences in context and power. These differences influence the ways in which a partnership can function. If we want to practice in equity-promoting ways, we must actively assess how the needs of all actors involved in research are both met and honored. Our authenticity is a reflection of how our actions align with our equity-centered goals, ideals, and theories. We must ask ourselves how we might best construct authentic partnerships as individuals, as teams, and as multi-actor collaboratives. And we can draw on excellent tools and resources to guide us in the promotion of these partnerships. These include the CCGHR Partnership Assessment Tool or Chapter 9 of the most recent Tri-Council Policy Statement, both outstanding resources that can be used throughout the research process. Questions we can consider include, how are we fostering and assessing equity in this research partnership? How do we ensure that our intentions and actions are aligned in how we relate with and partner with others? And how can we effectively address issues of trust and power in research relationships? The Principle of Inclusion The Principle of Inclusion speaks to our efforts to ensure a representative ethos in research processes, particularly of those who have been historically marginalized. This principle, like the others, offers guidance on ways in which often hidden issues of power and privilege can be explored in global health research. We can ask ourselves, how do our research practices proactively promote the involvement and participation of people who are historically marginalized due to race, class, sex, ability, religion, sexual identity, indigeneity, and so on? How can we translate our understandings of solidarity into the global health research arena? How can we continually improve upon proactive, intentional efforts to be inclusive? And how can we invite contemplation of diversity and representation in our research efforts? The Principle of Shared Benefits Practicing the principle of shared benefits invites those involved in global health research to examine what the benefits of research or research use are and how these benefits are distributed. Importantly, benefits of research should be defined beyond academic outputs such as publications. For example, The results of a research study may lead to innovations in healthcare treatments, but how are these benefits shared among all involved, including communities participating in the research, all research partners, and those people affected by research processes who are not directly involved in the research project itself? Promoting shared benefits means making an intentional effort to identify people who may be more distally involved or affected, and using strategies to prioritize the benefits for this greater good. Let's stop and reflect on how benefits are shared, asking ourselves, how is each partner benefiting from this research? How are the benefits actually distributed among those involved? How can we intelligently challenge the culture of individualism in academia? How can we explicitly explore the ways in which power and privilege influence the distribution of benefits related to research? And how can we encourage a deeper contemplation of equity, that is, the needs of actors or beneficiaries, in the benefits associated with research?